Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So, first of all, I am terribly sorry that we haven't had as many episodes out per week as I was hoping to do at least, but uh, yeah, things are just a little bit too busy right now and it's a real pain to find time to record video, so I'm uh, very sorry about this, but Let's hope in the near future we can uh, get back to our usual uh, schedule. Right, so now with uh, that out of the way, let's get right into our episode. So in the main district, we are still continuing building the castle walls over here. And the same with a uh, couple of water mills that we've lined up here as well. And, and the problem seems to be the gears, which we are now also producing in the main colony. Actually, let's resume the simulation real quick. And here we go, a bit of a lag in there, but everything is okay. Then uh, in the, I think in the last episode, what I mentioned was I wanted to extend the, how far the fertile area reaches over here. And I suggested removing this temple, but then I remembered temples can only build, be built on ground. So... Unfortunately, that's not really gonna work out, so we're, we're just gonna have to go with the flow. And we've got a whole bunch of trees already in here, and what I'm tr starting to do now is put down a whole lot of dynamites. We do have the road now complete to go around this area, but I think in the future what I'd like to do... Actually, we've got a few things, uh, roads down already, so let's see. I do want to have those bridges here. But I think we'll have to, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if they come out to about here, yeah, let's do that. One there. Oh, and another trout has obviously started as well. So great. Okay, and we'll connect you up just like so. So hopefully that's going to give us a bit of a shorter route towards everything that we are going to have in here. And the reason why I'm just making this a little bit shorter is I do want this um, district center actually to have a bit of a reach around this area here as well. So we could keep uh, putting down dynamites and deepening this area. But um, yeah, we'll uh, keep building this up a little, well, slowly, slowly but surely. The problem we'll face over here is once we remove this uh, set of stairs is we'll no longer have access to wood. So that's why we are putting down another log pile over there just to store up uh, a couple extra logs. And uh, we'll probably have to do the same with a small warehouse actually as well. Yeah, because we're going to need some blanks in here. So yeah, let's schedule you, I don't know, right about over there. Okay, cool. So the focus for this episode, what I was thinking is, since the beavers are very busy in the main district here, not the main, sorry, the uh, Dragon's Keep, then um, yeah, I've uh, scheduled up quite a few log piles here as well, all in the preparation of getting this grand uh, pyramid ready. And we're also doing the same in, uh, in here, and I've extended the area where we are planting trees as well. So what I was thinking is, why don't we focus on our one of the newer districts in here. And uh, I've got a few things already scheduled in, but what the beavers are doing in the background here is they are starting to build up this temple. I do believe we should have the resources we need, the logs definitely, and blanks as well. Okay, so that's fantastic. And what I'd like to do in, um, in this little peninsula, I suppose, is um, I think this... Could be a really nice area for the for like a permanent residences for the beavers so i also want to turn this into a folktale sort of themed little district in here so yeah I, I do have to change this around and well the deep water pumps will have to stay i think yeah it's definitely gonna be easier if we keep the deep water pumps but um let's have a look over here what what our plans are so using the triple lodges uh, they'll have a little staircase going up because the entrance is on the uh, one level of the ground. So what we'll also want to do is uh, use the rooftop uh, for lovely little terraces. And the way we're going to access them... Oh, that's a little too high. We'll put a couple of platforms right about there with a set of stairs going down. And then the access will be 
Right about there, I suppose. Okay. And, ooh. I did want to put a forester in here. Eventually, yeah, I would like to extend this out and then connect it up into here. Because these stairs are gonna go. Yeah. Nothing to do in range, let's see. Um... Why don't we pause these two buildings for now, because none of the trees have grown up just yet. And we'll carry on building uh, around here. Let's see, we are going to need a platform. And actually, this could be the stepping down area. Another platform on top of this one, and this comes out a little further. Okay, that can work. And why don't we actually allow them to start building all these things in here. And the reason why I have this set of stairs in here is I was thinking of putting a couple more trees on these different levels. Oh, should we do a, should we do a few over here as well? Actually, yeah, that's not a bad idea. So we'll, oh, right, we'll do this side first, and then we'll move on to the back side of the of the houses. And all we gotta do is, I know it's a bit of a waste of resources, but I think it's fine. We'll just um, let them go up, get one of those trees down, and we are gonna have to put a forest there. Well, temporary one, I think. Uh, yeah, you don't have quite the reach, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to put one over there. Let's put a few trees in this area. Let's fill up the back first. The top one we can always do from there. And yeah, that's gonna look much more lovely. And then we can always put another set of stairs from here once we get rid of those ones. And voila. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that should look pretty nice in the future once it is done of course and uh i don't know a couple more here and there but i don't want them to mm, no they can plant them it's fine this one no this one we don't this one here is fine okay is that too tall for them not sure i think it's fine okay so we've now that we do have the housing down another thing that we shall start scheduling in is creating like a little pool in front of the waterfall and to do that it is going to be very very simple all we gotta do is just connect them up and i think we'll let's see somewhere about here and since the flow seems to be one two three four five six we're gonna need six of those dams in here so a couple in here and we do need to remove you two okay two more and the rest can be levies just like so and what this allows is actually another thing i do not know is how deep does the water have to be to place down a little so it seems we can place one in here but once i place it down it looks a little off ground but i guess we'll find out if it's going to work and then what we will also of course I think we'll do is we might demolish or detonate this area a little bit lower hmm should we blast the sides or leave it as a bit of a stepping uh, let's see we've got one of those littles here oh okay few platforms may be needed actually so one could go here oh no never mind the water level is gonna be high so yeah okay it will be fine Let's, uh, let's just leave it at that. And um, what we'll also do in here is we definitely want to have a few more decorations, a few more trees, just to make it even nicer. Okay, here we go. Uh, water, we are going to store it in there. Leisure-wise, since we do already have a temple being built over there, just notice we are missing a road. Right, so you are almost done. Just a few more blanks. Okay, so we don't need... Yeah, you there anymore. What I would like to build somewhere here is a couple of campfires, however. Maybe something like this, one right in the middle. Okay, connected by the road. And what else shall we build? We uh, do need food around this area as well. So a few warehouses will come very handy. Since this road is very confusing me when I'm... Uh, building everything up so why don't we take you out and just leave the the stairs in place at least for now okay there we go much easier now okay i think this area can probably go as well and food if they have to run down here that's not too far bit of entertainment yeah 
Okay, another thing we can do actually is, because this is not the main road, and if we don't connect you from here, we could have a little roundabout for the for the beavers. So from here, one, two, one, two, if this comes down, and we actually connect you up, I don't know, from somewhere, let's see, the middle, if the road comes through here, actually, yeah, that's, that's pretty perfect. So we could go in and then... Yeah, a little roundabout so they can do their uh, business and reach where they need to go. Ooh, could mirror this right on this side, actually. Okay, let's put you over there. Decorations-wise, let's unlock another roofing. Oh, okay, that could work quite nicely. What about two of you? Well, that's kind of funky as well, so... Nah, let's... let's um, yeah, we'll do the other one. Just like so. Are you still able to reach it? Yes, maybe they built this from the corner over there. Might even be able to build it from the stairs once they are constructed. Okay, so that's good. Let's keep it at two times speed. And around here, what we uh, shall put down... Where are the plants? No, trees. I think we'll just do blueberries, but we're not going to harvest them. So we'll just place them down and once we... Uh, oh yeah, you need a set of stairs and then beavers can start moving in how many can it take again was it 10 let's have a quick look nine okay so that's fine whilst they are building that stuff over there let's take a quick look at what is happening here you guys seem to be running back and forth oh you are doing the platforms right uh where did i place them let's have a look oh right about here okay they've got a few levels in and the reason why I'm placing those platforms down is to pass through the bower in the future once we do move the levee aqueduct a couple of tiles to the right, looking at from this angle, of course. Okay, so they can carry on with that. Oh, we do have another large windmill in place already. Still missing quite a few gears, but that is okay. Maybe we give you the highest priority and these ones a slightly lower one. Okay, there we go. Drought is 25 days. Okay, are we pumping water from anywhere where we don't want to pump it now this seems to be okay so that is great now another problem i have noticed here which is actually pretty annoying i must say we're not able to take out those trees because the reach is pretty bad yeah that's uh that's it so they can't really take them or cut them down now do we have any temporary solutions i think we may Let's have a look at this as well. Okay, so we do have a few more trees. How about we just remove this area because we can't reach them anyways. You can just start spreading towards this way. Yep, that will be fine. I think we could do a temporary road. Because right now they have to go... Oh, never mind. That is already a bit of a shortcut. Oh, actually, why don't we rate like a little staircase here with a platform and a road highest priority for the two of you and that should uh, fix our problems i believe yeah okay as soon as you guys start building that we can get rid of those trees and then change the access around a little bit because right now yes you can access all that but you hmm i think they're still going all the way around whereas we want to give them a direct access through yeah okay but we've got a lot of uh, bread anyway so what we'll do is maybe expand a few potatoes into this area. Since right now it seems... Oh, we could actually expand it even more. Hmm. Now let's leave it at that. Maybe we can... No, we want this as wheat as well. Okay, never mind. I guess potatoes will have to come into this area. Maybe get these ones done as well. So we can have a few beavers working in here. And what I will just notice is we have quite a few homeless beavers. So we will have to figure out how can we expand our housing estate now i don't want to add any more houses here and to be honest it's still not quite complete because i think we're still figuring out oh yeah a few more levees in here you've, you've got this corner and these platforms in i am getting distracted very easily and very quickly but let me just add a few more levees in there right back to this uh dining district here okay we've got the stairs in now as well good are you gonna be... Yes, they are. Finally. Oh, oh dear. And now you can help them as well. So that is fantastic, actually. What I'll probably do is... How about we replace all the wheat in here with potatoes? Oh, actually, we do have raw potatoes. So the problem is actually the... Where is it? The grill. Toggle the faction again. And um, 
Right, where can we place you? It's a little bit of space in here, which I do want to use. How about... Hmm. Okay, let's do that. No goods in stock, so we'll take this one out. Add a little road in there. And if we can, please have this built. Wait, do you need electricity as well or no? No, you don't. Okay. Ooh. Alright, so that's going to give us a few more grilled potatoes. Increase our stock in this district too. Oh yeah, we're out. Same with the carrots as well. Just don't seem to be uh, having enough farmers actually. Yeah, they're always busy. So another farm is going to be needed. Let's grab a farmhouse. And it doesn't really fit here very nicely. You, on the other hand, could help us out in this area. Maybe this might be even better if it goes, uh, yeah, just like so. Got a platform down and a quick farm station. Oh, that's not bad. Gets all these carrots in here. Right, yeah, let's leave you in just like so. I don't, are we still, hmm. Okay, these trees can stay. You're definitely gonna go out. And what we now can do as well, do we want to extend this a little bit? I'm not sure, but let's just throw those carrots in because we are out of them, aren't we? Well, a couple, a few more of you. The grill is now done as well, so that is great. Let's add the grilled potatoes recipe in there. Right, let's leave you at that. Quick check. Oh, very lovely. Quite a few dynamites in. And do we have any spare beavers yes we do why don't we build another forest there you can uh, be paused for the time being oh no we don't have spare beavers never mind we'll make sure someone goes into this forest there as soon as it's built and well you look at that we've got a few metal fences already in as well okay good let's uh zoom back into this area in here oh okay okay got the housing in no beavers living in them though. Got children. Um, okay, maybe the other ones are still filled. And once these uh, kids grow up, then... Oh, never mind. They've moved into the double lodge over here. Okay, interesting. That does, however, mean that I think we'd like to put a few warehouses down somewhere around this area. So if you're... Well, let's fix this up. We are going to have a set of stairs right about there. And then every time they want to go out... Hmm... Maybe it's better, best if we do it here. Let's see, storage, grab a couple of smaller ones. Uh, how can we do it? One, two, three. This will be a nice little park area. Mm, yeah. Do you know what? Let's take you out. Maybe a uh, slightly high priority for you. And now let's give this a try. Okay, at least they've got a bit of entertainment now in this area. And we'll definitely need some more water as well. But again, the issue is gears. Now, should we do something about it? Blanks is low as well. Uh, yeah, the production is not really meeting the demand in here. What a nightmare. Hmm. May have to extend our production zone a little bit. Now, how high do we want to go? That is a, that is a very good question. Because this... Oh, yeah, that's not ideal either. Could go up with the double ones. So this can, uh, wait, you can go over, I guess it's just the design, I wasn't really planning to go much higher, and I don't want to rip it out, so let's just leave it at that. I guess we'll just have to find another area where we can uh, produce some more. I mean, we do have the range, so, and since you're not needed anymore, oh, uh, this bridge is annoying. Yeah, there's no, if there was a gap in here and we could send the beavers down onto this riverbank here, this could be a great production area, I suppose. Well, depends where the logs are coming from. Because right now, if this is the going to be the trees district, so maybe maybe this should be the production zone, actually. Let's see, what are we storing in those? Grilled potatoes, and what are you storing? Carrots. How about we take this all out, redesign this area, and turn you... Ooh, you're storing gears. Never mind. We're not really exporting blanks in here. Oh, we got one more. Metal blocks. Okay. You can go as well. Empty this storage. I mean, I guess we can leave you here. No, we can't. Because we want... Oh, uh, yeah, that's not the entrance. Well, I guess this whole area, yeah. I'm gonna have to change it quite a bit. Uh, I guess the distribution center could go somewhere in here instead. 
and with the production right next to it and a few storage areas for the logs as well now we could do even a couple in here let's see how much space do we have one two three one two three okay so if we cover this area let's see something like this storages industrial log piles to a couple and depending on how many levels up do we want to go i guess that will oh actually i might have an idea we could do the road in the front that goes to there and from here we'll have stairs going up okay that could actually work how are we going guys i don't think they're oh you are actually empty so we'll drop you we don't want any more logs here and i'm afraid the same with that uh, this as well what to be our oh, grilled potatoes uh right so that's gonna take a little bit longer but we can just leave it as it is for the for the time being let's take a quick look at here okay they've done this which is great i guess now is time do you need gears as well no you don't okay so that's good uh i think it's now very good time to start putting down the trees temple is ready as well i know it is a bit of a long way for these guys to reach the temple and that is correct not the best but uh, okay it's 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 okay let's connect you up with the roads again oh i did forget we already have storages over here for food uh, sunflower seeds we don't need oh yeah with the recent update um now we do now have uh, sunflowers that we can plant in here to get sunflower seeds which they'll you know eat uh, eat raw and what i was thinking is since we do have a set of ruins in here why don't we decorate this area with uh, sunflowers in the in the future so we'll probably leave those ruins in and seems the dam or the levee section is going in quite nicely already yeah the water i mean it's almost gone yeah there's not a lot left in here uh oh well it's gonna dry up very quickly but it's fine it's okay now the question is this i think yeah we are gonna make it look nice and green however what do we want to do in this corner? I guess we can leave it open for now and in the future just uh, maybe more housing or... Oh, you're full. Okay. Uh, yeah, more housing or maybe some sort of entertainment. Although entertainment, I think, you know, there's a lovely little peninsula here on the tip of the peninsula where we can put some ent entertainment or even when they cross over, let's say... Uh, let's do this again somewhere there I suppose and into this little entertainment zone um, Seems we have already used up all those logs Where are you guys off to? Are oh, you still bringing logs in? Okay. Yeah, this was actually supposed to be once we put a Another district center somewhere here to start letting this water run through Down to these levels, although I don't think we need it, but it would be lovely if we could Wait, can we not just send this water? Or how high does it reach? Oh no, it's not quite high enough to send water this way from here. Well, that's okay. Oh, and it seems the beavers don't really have anything better to do right now. So they've started to fill up these log piles as well, which is good. How many logs do we have? 1,400. Okay. Well, that's uh, nothing to complain about. That's actually really, really good. Now, you don't seem to have any access in here, which we can, I believe, fix fairly easily. Let's take you out. And all we need is two and a three. And let's give you a road as well and see how good is our reach. Okay. Yep, we should be able to build pretty much most of it. And if we really want to, I don't think we want to. Could go up from here as well. Nah. It's alright. Why aren't you building those though? I think we are, yeah, blanks. Ah, dear. So, because this is a little bit annoying. Oh, oh. Let's not delete things we don't want to delete. Stairs and the platform can go. Now, if this road is gonna come through here, 
Oh yeah, we can step down for sure. Log collection pile or station would be good to have somewhere here. So storages again let's do industrial uh that means we have to get up from somewhere here i mean we could dynamite one of them and let's see we shall be needing lumber mills first of all to make lots of more blanks it's a little off here but that might be okay do we want to stack them no i don't really want to make this a uh, very tall construction project here i do want them to have a shortcut going through there and well yeah it, it, it's gonna go we'll put a shorter bridge section somewhere there how about you guys go into some other things drop the last of uh, logs that you have and i don't want to see anyone on this bridge anymore please okay off you go beavers Are you done no they're still building uh, bringing stuff here can we now take you out yes we can Another one of these ones, and levees, and a shorter bridge. Or should we done? No, they've got the logs in. Never mind. We'll drop these roads back in there as well. And yeah, try and build this as quickly as you can. Quick dynamite. And you can... Well, if they're gonna have access from here, we don't really need you there. And we can do gear shops right in the opposite direction and more windmills i suppose in the future as well would be lovely to have around there how are we going with this dam over here oh that will definitely be done wait you should be oh uh, wait a second is it still too far how about now okay now you can build it from the bottom as well so just to speed it up a little bit but um yeah so this little village is gonna go up i believe well, I hope at least it's going to be quite a quick one. We've got a few trees already done as well, which is very lovely. We will be uh, wasting a few more logs just to get those extra. This is not good, is it? Yeah, they're going to have to get up there as well. Ah, what a nightmare. And there's one behind even as well. Okay, okay, right. I think we can leave it or finish the episode at this point now. Uh, I'll probably try and do a little bit of off-camera work. Get this, uh, at least get us trees in. And uh, as many logs as we as we can as well. And maybe fix the power up a little bit. And then uh, in the next episode what we'll do is we'll keep building this production zone. We'll um, stock up these log piles as quick as we can. It seems some of the first... First of the trees have grown up now so we can start getting even more logs into our colony. But okay, that's going to be enough for this episode. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you had a bit of fun and I'll see you in the next one.